Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ed over at Team Aquascape. I am coming to you from St. Charles, Illinois, the water garden capital of the world and our corporate headquarters, Aqualand. I am getting ready to start out with the prep work for Pondemonium. Pondemonium is our massive event. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of contractors that come in from around the world, all coming to St. Charles to learn the latest and greatest techniques about operating a water feature business, as well as the tips and tricks of construction. Our upcoming pandemonium this year, we are doing something right here at our office. 11 years ago, we did the extreme build that transformed the entire front of our office, which is part of a massive pandemonium event. You want to check out that video? That was an incredible experience. But today, I am getting ready to transform the front. What I want to focus on here is curb appeal. So you can see our beautiful building. State of the art. It is a lead silver facility. We have a massive green roof up here on top to manage storm water all that water runs off into our retention pond located on the side that water gets recycled into our decorative water feature here in the front so you see the beautiful building in the back but we have this huge roadway here we have the airport on the other side cars that come by on a regular basis and what I want to do is I want to grab people's attention so this is important for any type of business any type of home anybody that's looking to add something unique to the front of our property this is exactly what we're going to do right here so you can see we have our sign up here in the front we have very nice landscaping bed which is always good but by adding a water feature you will see the transformation we don't have a huge grade change here from the uh, turf here up to the base of that sign maybe four four and a half feet so what we're going to do is we're going to create a beautiful waterfall i want to try to do it you see it on both sides so when people are coming from the north or from the south they're going to see some of that water flow from the base of the sign here the other thing that we're going to try to do is incorporate some stack slate walls maybe some urns spheres not 100 percent sure yet but we want to have something getting a little bit more height i don't want to bring this berm up too much higher because we're going to encroach in on the sign and everything but we do want to grab everybody's attention so that's what we're going to be doing we have Juan over here from Aqua Landscape, so he is going to be assisting us. He's one of the local CACs in the area, works with Roy Dahl. We're going to start pulling out all of this stuff. So what I'm thinking right now is we'll probably remove these three rocks right over in here, those three, and then we'll be ready to go. So we did the demo work, actually went pretty quick. We got all those rocks out, pulled out landscaping. Now we're starting to reposition some of the stone. What I wanna to try to do is get a little bit of an edge coming out here. Again, we have to protect that drain. What we're doing on this side, you can see I have my excavation marked out. We have a 10 by 13 excavation. We're gonna go down approximately four feet deep. This will be for 2000 gallons of water storage. So that is 60 large aqua blocks, double stacked. We'll have three feet basically, aqua blocks down in the bottom. And the reason I'm going four feet, I'm gonna have the top of those aqua blocks down a foot below that grade. That'll give us a little bit higher waterfall going into that bottom reservoir. So the thought process right now, reservoir here in front, waterfalls coming down both directions, water cascading down, probably into a little pooling area right over in here. Maybe we'll drop in some of the uh, patio bowls and then everything coming down into here. Don't know our total flow rate yet. Minimum 20,000 gallons an hour, probably closer to 30,000 gallons per hour. And that's because we have to have a lot of water flow because of the traffic, 45 to 60 miles an hour so what we want to do is we want to grab their attention we are not going to be able to do that if we don't have excessive amounts of water going over the waterfall so we need lots of agitation we need lots of flow to create that white water effect it actually makes it highly visible So I just got a call from Jenna. There are guys in the back that are getting ready for the waterfall building contest. So they're cleaning up everything and they got this kid stir stuck. So we are pulling off the excavation and we're gonna head back there and see what we can do to fix the situation. No. <laughs> well, the 
excavator ran out of diesel on top uh -huh. of the hill. We've been pouring in the diesel this much room to fit it in, and actually some of it's leaking out. So most of it's not getting in there, so we're gonna have to pull the machine off of the hill and hope that on the flat surface the diesel can get in there and we'll have a better chance of it starting. Sounds good. All right, let's bring the machine in. There we are. So we got it unstuck. No problem. <laughs> so what they were working on was all of this, getting everything ready for the waterfall contest. So pulling out all the old basins, removing all the stone, cleaning up this berm and all this stuff. So we will be ready for all the new people coming in to learn how to build and design water features. Nice being able to work at our facility, able to get material directly out of the warehouse. We could move the excess soil over into the back of the property. We do have some assistance. Aqua Landscapes is out. They're giving us a hand here, which is huge. We cannot get things done without the right help. Sand for the bottom and for around the aqua blocks. Take excess soil, dump it in here. We'll get rid of it. We'll dump it all the way in the back of the property where the waterfall contest is gonna be. So we got Juan and Jack down here inside the hole right now, just kind of smoothing stuff out, getting ready to do our pump vaults. We got pump vaults over here, we got some aqua blocks. We do have a lot of room here, but as you can see, it gets quickly jammed up with stuff. We are at a pretty good point right now. We got a little bit of rain, but not too bad, which is a good thing. I was hoping that I uh, wasn't gonna destroy our excavation. Just a little bit of water down on the bottom, nothing major. We have all of our aqua blocks built over on the side. We're coming in with two to three inches of sand across the entire bottom just to kind of level everything out. This area here, you can see we do have a little bit of water down there. Where our pump vaults are gonna be, we have three pump vaults going in. Once we get the uh, sand in place, we have our heavy duty geotextile. We'll cut some strips of the geotextile. We'll lay those strips down across the bottom. Then we'll put in our EPDM rubber liner another layer of the geotextile over the top, and then we come in with all of these aqua blocks. This is gonna create a structural void space for us. So each one of these blocks, this is a double stack. You can see two of them on top of each other. Each one of these holds 32 gallons of water. So we have 64 gallons total, that little double stack right there. And then we have 60 of them. We also have our three pump vaults over here. These are designed to work as one unit. It's modular. We could add or subtract more blocks according to the project requirements. We could also add or subtract more pump vaults according to the amount of water flow that we're looking for. Aqua blocks are in. We got our sand backfill starting right now. So we have all the aqua blocks in the middle. We take all those layers, the fabric, the liner, the fabric, we wrap it back around it. And now we have this big joint around the perimeter. We're gonna fill that in with sand up to the top of the aqua blocks. And then what we'll do is we'll lay that liner back down and then we could actually cut this and kind of change the shape a little bit. So one of the challenges we have from a artistic perspective is we're looking at basically a big rectangle. We want more of a naturalistic shape. So what we'll do is we'll place our rocks in the proper configuration. We got Roy out, team from Aqua Landscape. We're gonna start backfilling on both sides. So one of the things you really wanna be careful about is the aqua blocks are light. They're made of polypropylene plastic. So if I put all my sand in on one side and started compacting it, it literally is gonna start pushing all of those over to the other side. So what we wanna do is we wanna add in sand around the perimeter evenly to start getting a little bit of an edge down here on the very bottom. And what that will do is it'll help lock everything in place. Now for different applications, if we were doing this underneath a parking lot or a patio or something like that, what I would do is instead of backfilling on the other side of the liner, I would have all of my liner and fabric up against the excavation over on this side, and then I would fill in between with clean gravel. The reason I would do the gravel is it would give me a stronger system. It would uh, allow for greater compaction, and then if we're doing patio or driving surface over the top, it would be able to handle the load bearing. Reuse 
utilizing some of the stone that we have here at the shop. This is kind of our little boneyard here. All the leftover pieces and parts from different projects. A lot of this big stone came from our display garden over here. We had a massive pond over in this section a few years ago and we ended up pulling that out. Instead of having one big pond, we broke it up into smaller areas. So now that's changed. So some of that stone is coming from that. We are trying to pull some of those nice pieces out, utilize them in our front water feature. First rock, Roy. And it's barely picking it up. Nice. <laughs> that's the biggest rock we have, though. We might have to go on his teeth then, huh? Going right smack in the middle. That's our biggest stone that we have. We're gonna use that kind of as our splitting point. Then we're gonna have waterfalls on both sides. Making progress. We got a couple big rocks already in place. We dropped in the big one. We got another little accent to the frame rock right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big rock that we have strapped and we're gonna sit it in right here on this edge so we could have a little waterfall coming in. Again, our goal isn't to complete everything. We just wanna make it easier for pandemonium. So what we're trying to do is get this stuff roughly into position, move some of this excess soil out of the way, create some of the terraces and ledges. So when everybody's here, we could kind of do things a little bit more effectively. So the nice thing about working with a uh, rubber liner gives us lots of flexibility. We have the rubber liner and everything extending out way beyond where we actually need it. This allows us to kind of manipulate things. We could flop the liner out, we could excavate, we could add soil, we could subtract soil as necessary to create the desired aesthetics. We're moving water into our tank. So we have a pump set up into our main pond over there and we just want to fill this up with water. The reason that we want to do that is any time between now and pandemonium, if we get a heavy rain and if we don't have this full of water, what could happen is water will get down underneath everything and it will cause all of this to float. It'll push those aqua blocks up. We have our pump over here. We're just trying to transfer some of that water from the main pond over into our reservoir. Pond is looking really good over here. Aquatic plants are doing great. Summertime, I mean, check out all those water lilies blooming. Everything is really, really lush. We've had warm temperatures, sunny temperatures. So all these aquatic plants just love this type of a condition. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a background information on what we're doing here for Pondemonium. So we have the sign. We're gonna create this beautiful fountain feature over here. It's gonna be highly visible. It's gonna be lit up throughout the season. It's gonna look spectacular 365 days a year. It'll become the focal point for the front of our office drawing people in. Once they get into the facility, then they're gonna be greeted by the rest of the water features, the massive signature feature in the front, the aqua gardens and back, all the water features inside of our office. So I wanted to show you a little bit of this stuff before everybody arrives. Some of the infrastructure going in, that 2,000 gallon reservoir, how we do the excavation, the different layers of the aqua blocks, the liner, the fabrics, all these different pieces and parts that make these projects actually tick, including the pump vaults. All these things are critical. Uh, the nice thing about it is it's a modular type of a system. Once you understand the basics on how to install one of these, you could easily create larger ones or smaller ones or anything in between and that's the beauty of all this so stay tuned as we continue to finish this incredible project once all the CACs arrive right here in the water garden capital of the world St. Charles Illinois all right we'll see you soon